five eighths today to close at forty two and five eighths. One day after the company announced the resignation of Disney Studios chief uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg. While rumors run rampant about where Katzenberg will end up, Disney chairman Michael Eisner said today the company will likely produce fewer films. And as Reuters correspondent Kevin Smith reports, the company faces a big challenge. In the jungle that is Hollywood, Disney's been king of the hill. With The Lion King leading the pack of all films this year, Disney just announced its total summer box office gross reached $404 million, the best ever by a studio. Jeffrey Katzenberg has garnered the lion's share of the credit for the studio's growth in annual revenues, from two and a quarter million dollars 10 years ago to four and a half billion now. Dividing Katzenberg's job, former 20th Century Fox chief Joe Roth will take over the movie duties, while current Disney studio president Richard Frank will head up television. I think the fact that Disney was quick to step in and name Joe Roth as head of the studio to elevate Richard Frank, I think allays most of the fears that Wall Street might have had that there could have been a void in the production activities of the company. The split reportedly came because Michael Eisner, chairman of the Walt Disney Company, refused to promote Katzenberg to the number two corporate job, left vacant by the death of President Frank Wells in April. A Disney spokesman told NBR that Katzenberg didn't have the breadth of experience needed to run the company. For the past two years, there haven't been any big hits among Disney's live action movies, like this spring's I Love Trouble. Katzenberg often gets the blame, but some think that's unfair. If you look over a 10-year period, you have a company that was basically an animation production company that evolved into a major studio. And a lot of the credit has to go to Jeffrey Katzenberg. Katzenberg said he doesn't know where he's going yet. Sony denied rumors he's heading there. Sources said Universal was a possibility should either of its top two executives retire next year. The Dallas Cowboys won two straight Super Bowls, yet their owner and coach parted company. Disney recently reported record revenues and earnings for the nine months ended in June. And experts say even this major management shakeup won't dwarf Disney's ability to build on that success. Kevin Smith of Reuters for NBR, Burbank, California.